Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a video on how I change my film cleaner pads and then put film guard back on them and get them ready. Okay, so we're going to change the pads on this film cleaner today. So, first thing you got to do is I just got to rewind them back so that I can take them off. These are fairly dirty now. The film pads actually stay pretty moist even after they've been on a while. Okay, so now we just pull that one off and throw that in the garbage. And then we'll just rewind this other one. Sometimes you have to loosen it just a little bit, and then we just there we go. Okay, just really wind this one. Okay. Got that. Now we can just pull that one off. Throw it in the garbage. Okay, now we just gotta get some new new pads. And usually what I'll do is I'll make sure this is pushed back. Now just I'm going to wipe these off a little bit. Oops. I basically wiped it down so that when I go put the new pads on, then it'll actually, the tape will stick so that I can put the new new pads on. Okay, so these are the new pads. So I'll just grab two of them. Okay, so now we'll get the new pads and we can go ahead and put those on. There's some arrows that kind of show you where to put, a, put them. So this one just, we just slide it on here like this and then it just goes around around this thing and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stick the tape on there and then we can take this and just wrap it wrap it until we just get a little bit of just so that it stays. And then after that we can tighten this one up. Okay. And then we get a new another another set of pads. And this one goes on the other one. And it goes on this one, so and this just goes up and around that one like that and then it has to wrap and it wraps counter or actually wraps clockwise goes back on and wraps clockwise onto the okay <clears throat> do the same thing just wrap it so you get a couple of turns on it. And that way you know, and then when you, then you just tighten that back down. Okay, so then that's, that's tight. And then what we do, is we take the film guard, 
and it's very important when you do this so you just don't start spraying like this that you literally you literally put it on the pad and start just start because if you up here you're gonna spray it all over and that's never a good thing so and what you do is you just keep I kind of move it around the top of it a little bit but then what will happen is it will it will start to eventually it will start to soak in and you'll actually start to see it. You'll actually start to see it start to flow in. You'll actually start to see the edges, the end of the... So you actually start to see the edges, the end of the, the front of the film there, or not the film, the, see how that's filling up, and that's, that's it, that's good, that's what, that's kind of what you want, you just, you don't want it starting to drip out either, you just want it to be full just like that, and then what we do is we, we do the other one, and we do the same thing to the other one. And then we just wait for it to flow down through. See if you're noticing it's starting to flow. And that means the pad is pretty much full there we go now the pads it's all it's all gone through the pad so these are all ready to to show a film and so each time that you run a film these will automatically these will automatically go from here to there and this is kind of how it feeds it was with this roller here that feeds it and then when you get to the end of the movie then of course you want to rewind oh and when you're done just go ahead and put your caps back on 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 each of them just the caps now these are ready to go okay so that's how you put new pads on the Kelmore film roll film cleaner um, anyway I just thought I could show you that and I, I kind of think it's important to keep the films clean uh, most of my films are pretty clean now because I I've run them through this quite often I, I do believe and it's not it's just only me talking but I think it can help even the soundtracks like even SDDS I think if you can keep those soundtracks clean I think you have a better opportunity of, you know, having those soundtracks, uh, you know, still be able to play. And I think it even maybe protects them. I don't know. I'm, you know, I wouldn't be that for sure. But because those soundtracks do, do rub on the gate. And so you're obviously putting wear on those tracks. But with the film guard on there, I think that could maybe help. I, you know, don't hold me to that. But... I, that's just my opinion. Anyway, I appreciate you watching this little video. I thought maybe you'd be interested in just seeing how we put the pad pads on the film cleaner. And, and uh, anyway, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. And we'll get back and do another one. Thank you.